Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kelly from KHK. Um, I don't even know if it's KHK anymore, but I I had to come on and say something because I am so heated about Trisha Paytas and what she's been saying about the dissociative identity disorder community. Like, Trish has said multiple times that she hasn't been diagnosed with anything else, anything other than bipolar disorder. Like, what, and, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to talk, but my words are so scrambled. She's talked about how she's only been diagnosed with, by, uh, BPD, bipolar disorder, and a lot of those symptoms do have to do with what she's saying that she relates to in dissociative identity disorder, but there are key elements of what she's saying that are just not correct and they do not relate to dissociative identity disorder and she is being so offensive with trying to claim that she has it and now she like comes out with some video saying like dear anthony padilla being mad at him when he hardly did anything about this situation you should be apologizing she should be apologizing to the various people in the DID community that she is hurt, especially Dissociated. Dissociated is like probably one of my favorite creators right now since I've found her and I just, it hurts to see how hurt she was seeing the video about her. Like, it was offensive to me. It hurt my heart just seeing that and the fact that she Trisha, the fact that Trisha is just throwing it all on Anthony or even saying rude things about Dissociated, which clearly shows that she didn't watch Nin's video because Nin was trying to be so kind and so like understanding and just throwing the actual facts of the disorder that she's claiming to have at Trisha. Like, it makes sense since she has since Trisha has BPD that she latches onto these personalities that she sees and she's trying to be very fluctuating with like the people around her and it makes total sense that the like the second that she sees this video on dissociative identity disorder she's like oh that's cool I relate to that like I feel like she does that with everything like now when trans people started to get more popular she was like oh yeah I relate to that thing like, you clearly do have a personality issue. I totally agree that she does have personality issues, but that comes from her bipolar disorder. And I, I know there's another word for um, that disorder. I'm sorry if that's offensive. I'm not trying to be offensive, but... <sighs> Trisha has shown time and time again, she has very volatile emotions she's all over the place on all so all sorts of things i don't know why she has to i mean i do know it's because of the bipolar disorder she makes rash decisions she's always highly emotional any emotion that she has she feels it a thousand percent and she doesn't have control over those emotions she doesn't have the logic to think out of those emotions and that's why she does these crazy hate videos like what she did to Anthony, Anthony Padilla and what she did to David and like she it seems like she hasn't been going to therapy I obviously I don't know her life I don't know what she's dealing with but in her vlogs that I have seen recently it seems like she hasn't been talking about going to therapy much lately maybe she's just not talking about it but if she isn't I highly recommend that she starts going and she starts taking it very seriously and not trying to self-diagnose yourself. That gets you into a whole world of trouble, especially if you especially if you have such a large platform as she does and you're spreading such all this false information about something that to so many people it's so disheartening to hear and to see and like as somebody who I, I love Trisha. I love following her. I think she's funny. I think she's individual. But it's things like this that make it really hard to follow her. And 
make me really want to unsubscribe and not give her any attention because it just it hurts it hurts to see her do these kinds of things and it's I I don't want to blame it on her bipolar disorder but it's a huge part of everything that she does I mean bipolar disorder she's swaying from emotions crazy that these are her switches that she's talking about her switches are her bipolar disorder and I don't know why she doesn't see that when she's not just relating it to the disorder that she's already been di diagnosed with multiple times by multiple mental health professionals like you can see it time and time again where she's had these crazy swings of emotion she constantly says like she doesn't just like somebody she falls in love with somebody she gets obsessed with somebody she doesn't just like you know, not like...